Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We will be discussing the life and legacy of Dr. Helen Rodriguez Trias, a renowned Hispanic physician and activist. Dr. Rodriguez Trias was born in July 7, 1929 in New York City. She spent her early years in Puerto Rico, returning with her family to New York when she was 10. Growing up as a Puerto Rican in New York City, she had experienced racism and discrimination firsthand. She began her academic education at the University of Puerto Rico in 1948. She became involved with the student faction of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party. Her brother did not approve of this and she returned to New York. In New York, she got married and had three children before returning to Puerto Rico to study. Rodriguez Trias graduated from the University of Puerto Rico in 1957, where she became a student activist on issues such as freedom of speech and Puerto Rican independence. Later, she en enrolled at the University of Puerto Rico to study medicine, a field that, in her words, combined the things I love the most, science and people. She was inspired to become a doctor after witnessing the death of her younger brother from meningitis. In 1960, she achieved the highest honors in her medical degree and had her fourth child. While completing her residency, she founded the first center for the care of newborns in Puerto Rico, reducing the hospital's infant mortality rate by 50% within three years. Upon her return to New York in 1970, Dr. Rodriguez Trias shifted her focus to community medicine. She began her career as pediatrician in New York City, where she became the first Latina director of the Department of Pediatrics at Lincoln Hospital. She also worked as a professor at the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey, and later as the medical director of the Puerto Rican Family Institute. As head of the pediatric department at Lincoln Hospital, which served a predominantly Puerto Rican area of the South Bronx, she worked with patients who were among the poorest in the United States and advocated for their political power and access to healthcare. She fought for all workers to have a say in administrative and patient care issues and raised awareness among healthcare workers at the hospital about cultural issues within the Puerto Rican community. Dr. Rodriguez Trias was also an associate professor of medicine at Yeshiva University's Albert Einstein College of Medicine and later taught at Columbia and Fordham Universities. Dr. Do Rodriguez Trias was not only a physician but also an advocate for women's health and children's rights. She was a founding member of the Committee to End Sterilization Abuse, which worked to end the forced sterilization of women of color she also served as the president of the American Public Health Association, becoming the first Latina to hold the position. Dr. Rodriguez Trias was a pioneer in public health and worked tirelessly to improve the health and well being of marginalized communities. She received numerous awards for her work, including the Presidential Citizens Medal in 2001. Her legacy lives on through the Helen Rodriguez Trias Social Justice Award, which is awarded to a person who has worked towards social justice for underserved and disadvantaged populations. Dr. Rodriguez Trias also lobbied for health and reproductive issues in international women's conferences in Cairo, Beijing, and other places. 
toward the end of her life, she said, I hope I'll see in my lifetime a growing realization that we are one world and that no one is going to have quality of life unless we support everyone's quality of life. Not on a basis of do-goodism, but because of a real commitment. It's our collective and personal health that's at stake. That's it for today's video on Dr. Helen Rodriguez Trias. Her life and work serve as an inspiration to all of us. And I hope this video has shed some light on her legacy and encourages you to read more about her life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.